Um, now, speaking of uh, people either being kicked out or leaving, <laughs> we just <laughs> seen this video. Uh, it's resurfaced. It's a bit of an older video, but it's of Justin Trudeau uh, doing what Justin Trudeau does, and that is throwing yeah. out women who disagree with him. <laughs> and it's from a town hall he hosted a few years ago. And some women were being disagreeable with Justin Trudeau. And so he showed them the door much the same way he did to Jody Wilson-Raybould and Selena. Sh- so what is it? Selena Chavez. Yeah. Caesar. Selena Caesar. Chavez. Yes. Failed mayoral candidate in Toronto. Um, but this is Justin Trudeau. This is how he reacts to women who don't bend toward his will. Take a look at this. So uh, if, if, if you stop shouting, you could stay. If you, will you stop shouting, sir? Then you won't be disturbing everyone here? Guess not. Okay. Uh, have, have a lovely evening, sir. Uh, thank you for coming out in this exercise in democracy. It's not pretty, but it's the best system we have. Democracy is pretty good. Again. I am trying to engage with you. I am trying to speak with you. You don't respect anyone in this room? Then I'm going to have to ask you to leave this room. Usually it's not that easy. Usually it's harder to get them to admit they don't respect anyone in this room. Uh, I apologize for that. I apologize for the interaction. We'll have to stretch out the time a little more because I don't want you all to be uh, penalized for that. Part of that, the other part of... uh, Come on, come on. Really? Really? Oh no, well, you're still here? Okay, well then. Yes, we're gonna ask the police to remove you. Yes, we're asking the police to remove you both. Time to go, please remove her. Winston Churchill pointed out that democracy is messy. You know what? This this is about. Okay. Do you, do you have one quick question? What's your what's your one question? Yes. Uh, how do I feel about critical discussion? ISIS. Okay. Have a wonderful evening, ma'am, and thank you for your participation in this democratic exercise. All the people. See, talking. one of the responsibilities that comes with free speech means listening to others. Will you please respect the people in this room? No, then please leave. If you're not going to respect the people in this room, you need to leave. That's the rule. Sorry. Yes. That's crazy. He's acting like a a teacher of kindergarten. If you're not going to respect Billy, (laughs) if you're not going to share your book, uh, you're going to have to leave. I think all of those women that he kicked out were indigenous and or indigenous identifying, and that's good enough for the liberals. Um, (laughs) But, you know, like they were thrown out because they didn't respect Justin Trudeau. You think Justin Trudeau gives a damn if those women respect everybody else in the room? Uh, I don't think it's a requirement to go to a town hall um, to have some sort of respect or homage to everybody else in the room. You just have to go there and, and, and be willing to engage in the free and liberal exchange of ideas. Uh, mm-hmm. But it was Justin Trudeau who was not, you know, like he, he said, thank you for participating in this ex- exercise of democracy. You yeah. threw out a woman because she didn't, dis- she didn't agree with you. Uh, yeah. That seems entirely undemocratic to me. Well, and what really stands out to me is what appears to me like narcissistic behavior, he does it with a smile, with a grin, uses Mm -hmm. words, uh, you know, like, oh, this is democracy, and everybody's clapping along and just falling in line with it. It's just creepy, actually, to watch. And one person after another, but I feel like it points out, because that was a few years ago, I think three years ago, it points out how the Liberal Party has changed now. Now, it's hard for people to get in to these events. Right. They have their handlers on the outside. Of course, we have Rebel News have experienced that many times. You can't even get into these events. Uh, you know, they weaponize the police and security against you and say that it's private property. But I've also seen it when people have protest signs and they show up. So not just independent media, 
But people who have protest signs where it's very obvious that they're there to oppose his visit or they don't agree with him, they don't make it in either. So he's gotten smarter. Now you don't have the videos of him saying this and losing his cool, I might add, at that one part where he's like, are you kidding me? Are you still in there? I mean, it kind of reminds me of um, that other time where he, uh, he got frustrated in the house and says he accidentally elbowed that woman when he went to go grab another MP out of the way, if you remember that in the chest, I forget her name, but it reminds me of this short temper that I've seen, seen him have before. Um, yeah. And it looks more like, like a normal person could handle people who are screaming and yelling at them. If you're a politician, you should be able to handle that. But yeah. having the police remove these nonviolent, however disagreeable women out of the event seems more like a power move. It's an exhibit of Justin Trudeau's power over the peasantry is what we mm -hmm. saw there. And he did it with a smug smile and he got angry when their removal wasn't happening enough, when they weren't shutting up fast enough yeah. for Justin Trudeau. Um, you know what else is is also, I think, highly relevant in all of this. This is like a three-year, three-ish year old clip. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the media really covering this at all? Like we exist no. in the news business. Yeah. Uh, this is. I I feel like if this happened to Pierre Polyev, uh, oh. <laughs> there would have been like twenty-four hour news cycles. And I think this what like obviously this was probably a room full of mainstream media, yeah. and they were just like oh, there were some disruptions, let's move on. Like, I don't think it was adequately yeah. covered the way it should have been. Well, it's the same as when he gets booed at everywhere he goes now, pretty much. They really downplay that. And again, the smug smile he consistently does. It doesn't matter if he walks out of a building where literally everybody is there to boo him. He will still smile and wave because he knows his buddies at uh, State Preferred Media will just mute the audio and just show him yep. coming and leaving the place like a queen. Yeah. And they'll say like conservative uh, disruptors. If they do uh, cover it, yeah. Attack Justin Trudeau event. And it's like, <laughs> no, these are concerned Indigenous women um, yeah. whom Justin Trudeau normally has plenty of time for when they agree with him.